change when I'm out on that field I only think about winning the game but that doesn't mean I don't know the color of my own skin now what kind of challenges do you have as an actor so that you could portray you know this character really truthfully because it's such a big historical figure well in this case you know um, it was kind of a gift and a curse being that there really was no blueprint because Ernie's not around so in a lot of ways I, um, I, I really didn't know where to look uh, for a template but that also afforded me the flexibility to, to, to be an artist and just worry about capturing the essence of Ernie and not worry about having to impersonate anybody. In the front door of a hotel. Now all those people who believe that's right are watching. But you know what? So are they. To achieve the extraordinary. Winning this one means nothing if you lose yourselves. Don't you let anyone steal history away from you. And what kind of responsibility do you have as a director directing a true story? It's a great question. You know, doing doing a true story, uh, doing a biography, it's very hard because you have all this stuff coming at you. You have different people, and again, I, I answer the question with a question, which is, how do you take a man's life, any man's life, any woman's life, and break it down to two hours? How do you do that? How do you do that? And you have to you have to shift things a bit. You have to keep. I always say you have to kind of sometimes modify the facts to bring out the truth. Best running back college football had ever seen but he was unable to become the first African-American to win the Heisman Trophy. Some said if Brown couldn't do it, it might never happen. One year later, Ernie Davis took the field. Now, you grew up in Texas um, during that time period. Yeah. What types of racial tensions did you happen to see? Well, I remember, you know, separate bathrooms and separate drinking fountains, separate everything you know, for white and black people. That's just the way it was, you know. And uh, Ben Schwartzwell, who I play in this film, he's, you know, he was part of that status quo. That um, he was a man of his times. You know, he'd be termed a racist today, but you know, for the, at the time, you'd have to term, you know, a majority of the white Americans as that because it was allowed to exist. And um, so it's, uh, it's, it was a different time. The, the scenes that were done at the West Virginia game and the Texas game, the fans were so, there was so much hate directed toward you and your other African-American teammates. How did that feel to you as an African-American man walking into that stadium and feeling that energy? It, it definitely helped and it, it definitely put things in proper perspective in my own personal life. I'm, you know, I'm a black male in 2008 and I, I still have problems, I guess but it's nothing like the adversity that Ernie faced. I mean, it was a lot. It was a lot to deal with on the day to day. It was a heavy burden, yet at the same time, just like in the film, there's a section of people who are rooting for you. And you want to stand up and you want to deliver for those people, you know, and for yourself and for like the legacy that all of these people had to endure. So as an actor, it felt great. To apologize Don't for you me, start it tonight, Will. Guys! Don't start it tonight. Whoa, 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 whoa! Relax! You're both right. Now, my plan A is the Cleveland Browns. Now, if that doesn't work out, plan B is the New York Giants. Now, why do you think this is an important story to tell now? Well, I've been saying all day that, you know, it's, it's a story that should have been told a long time ago, but it's perfect that it's coming out now. And, and not because, necessarily, we're, we're in the midst of a historical election process. I just think it's at a time in the country when you can get something where you you can weep in this movie on the inspirational things and you weep in this film on the emotional things. And not too many sports movies do both. They do one or the other. You're rah, 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 or you're sad. You well, that's know? what's so, so beautiful about this yeah, film. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, it becomes the, and therefore it becomes more about um, uh, life and humanity than it does a classic football film. You know? Uh, so what is it that you want audiences to take away from this film? You know, when I was a kid, I used to love going to films like Rocky and Breaking Away, and I have to confess, see them five or six times because I just had a great time standing on my seat cheering at a movie screen as if it was a live, um, a live exhibition. And I think that 
for you know, just I'd say go to the movie and just enjoy the joy of the sport. I really hope that the audience is moved. As an artist, I really just want to create a sense of emotion. Even if you know nothing and care nothing for football or sport, I, this movie will will hit you. It will it'll, it'll get you. I'm playing. You hear me? In a time of change. This is not just a game. We're fighting something else out on that field right now. One man had the courage. I can't even walk in the front door of a hotel. Now all those people who believe that's right are watching. But you know what? So are they. To achieve the extraordinary. Winning this one means nothing if you lose yourselves. Don't you let anyone steal history away from you.